Good morning, I'm Eliza Petrie with your Ag in an Instant. First, a look at the market movement we saw last week. March corn ended Friday at $4.46, going up a penny. And since the start of the new year, March soybeans have been below $13 and even ended the week at almost below $12. They ended at $12.09, which is down four cents from last week. And we had the chance to sit down with Congresswoman Nikki Bazinski and hear what she is working on in Capitol Hill. One of the biggest items on her agenda is passing a farm bill. I have previously reported on the year-long extension that was put on the current farm bill, so now lawmakers have until September to pass a new bill. But recently, House Ag Chairman Thompson spoke on how he would like to pass a bill before March. The Congresswoman says while she would like to see a bill passed soon, she wants to be sure they take the proper amount of time to pass a bill that will provide the appropriate amount of funding for each sector of agriculture. The Farm Bill is actually, it has a lot of really great initiatives within it that do support our family farmers, support our rural communities, support economic development. Um, and I'm trying to lead in all of those, but we really want to make sure we get this done by September on a bipartisan basis. Outside of adequate funding for crop insurance, conservation efforts, ag research and nutritional programs, she would like to see funding allocated for new and beginning farmers. When we recognize that the state of Illinois, agriculture is our number one economic driver. And we know at the same time that the average age of a family farmer is 58 years old. We need to be thinking about that next generation of young and beginning farmers to come up into agriculture. As lawmakers discuss what should be included in the next farm bill, it has been suggested that the next bill could surpass $1 trillion for the first time in history. For your Ag in an Instant, I'm Eliza Petrie. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.